21 Strange Things That Only Exist in Albania Albania is a country located in Eastern Europe, extremely small but with stunning natural landscapes and peculiar customs. For example, there are 750,000 bunkers built across the country, people are obsessed with Mercedes cars, there's a capital with colorful houses and stuffed animals hanging outside windows for protection, and more. Let's explore the 21 strangest facts about Albania, guaranteed to surprise you about this country full of tradition yet also modern and unique. Number 21. Nodding actually means disagreement. When talking to someone from Albania, you might notice that it seems like they disagree with you, but they nod at you. This seems strange because in Western cultures, nodding means yes, while shaking the head means no. However, in Albania, it's the opposite. Nodding up and down means no, and shaking the head sideways means yes. So if you travel here, pay attention to this custom. Number 20. Albania is a small country in Europe. Albania is a small country located in southeastern Europe. With an area of only about 29,000 square kilometers, Albania has a diverse terrain stretching from north to south, with lowlands, valleys between mountain ranges and vast plateaus. Its neighboring countries are Greece, North Macedonia, Montenegro, Kosovo and Serbia. It's a fairly homogeneous country in terms of ethnicity, with 98% of the population being Albanian. Most of them live in mountainous regions where the foothills are flat and they have little contact with neighboring countries, mostly self-sustaining through agriculture and animal husbandry. Number 19. Europe's drug capital. Lazarat is a village in Albania known as the marijuana capital of the country. This is because the majority of the marijuana produced there is exported to the rest of Europe. Located about 240 kilometers south of the capital Tirana, this village produces around 900 tons of drugs extracted from cannabis plants annually, with a value of up to $6.1 billion, equivalent to half of Albania's GDP. Number 18. Stuffed animals hanging outside homes for protection. Many Albanians hang stuffed owls and bears outside their homes. They believe that when these owls and bears are hung outside buildings on a stick or rope, they will drive away jealousy from evil spirits and bring luck to those inside the house. This action is called Dordalex and these stuffed animals are placed to protect property from jealous individuals who might steal it. The centuries-old tradition of Dordalex in Albania, which was nearly eradicated during the communist era, was revived in the early 1990s. Number 17. Many Albanians migrate to other lands. It's a fact that there are more Albanians living outside their homeland than within it. Most native Albanians live in neighboring countries like Greece, Italy and North Macedonia, while others have migrated to the United States and Canada to live. The reason is due to economic reasons and later discrimination and violence that Albanians had to endure, prompting many to choose to leave the country. Number 16. Sworn virgins live as men for life. In the remote mountainous regions of northern Albania, special women take a vow to remain virgin for life. They live and behave like men, never marrying or having children. They cut their hair short, wear loose clothing, and change their names. They drink alcohol, smoke cigarettes, carry guns, and do jobs typically reserved for men like shepherding or driving trucks. These are women who choose to live life as men to escape patriarchal society. They are called sworn virgins or burnesha. However, that privilege comes with a price. Each sworn virgin swears to maintain purity and honor for life, a sacrifice that none regrets. In modern history, women in remote mountainous areas of northern Albania have very few rights. They cannot vote, own land, inherit, or do business. The laws and ancient social principles called canon have been passed down from generation to generation in family lines for over 500 years, and some places still maintain them. According to canon law, women are the property of their husbands. Marriages are predetermined at birth or when they are still young. When a woman reaches marrying age, they must move to the husband's house, take care of husband and children, and do housework. The first ones to take the vow did so because of social demands. If a family has no male heir, an unmarried woman in the lineage can take on the role of a man and lead the family. She will swear before tribal chiefs or village elders, and from that day on, she will become a man. Over time, some women became sworn virgins for various reasons, such as avoiding unwanted marriages or pursuing freedom. They may miss out on some joys of women such as marriage or childbirth, but the freedom has made many women take the oath. What do you think about these women in Albania? Leave a comment to let me know your opinion. 
Number 15. Peculiar Wedding Customs in Albania There are many peculiar wedding customs in Albania. In an Albanian wedding, when the bride arrives at the groom's house, a gunshot is fired to signify that it's a joyous moment and the celebration is vibrant. Unlike the usual practice where the groom goes to the bride's house to pay the dowry with money and food, an Albanian bride goes to the groom's house to present the dowry, which includes pillows, blankets, embroidered rugs, and furniture. Furthermore, an Albanian bride must serve bread and honey to the future mother-in-law before she enters the house, which is a long-standing tradition in Albania. Unlike many other places where weddings begin and end in a day, Albanian weddings are a complete seven-day celebration, with the final day being the actual wedding event. Finally, an Albanian bride is often presented with a gold coin by the groom, symbolizing their engagement. The concept of the honeymoon in Albania is very peculiar and somewhat vague, here there is a tradition where for three days and three nights the bride must resist all of her husband's requests, including household chores and intimacy. This is believed to help ward off evil spirits lurking in the house. Number 14. Over 750,000 bunkers have been built across the country. During the communist era, Albania became very isolated as it had no allies other than China. This led the dictator Enver Hoxha to be constantly paranoid about an invasion. To protect the country, he ordered the construction of over 750,000 bunkers at strategic locations across the country. Although most of them have been destroyed, there are still about 160,000 bunkers remaining, including memorial bunkers next to the Saranda post office. Today, many of these unused bunkers are being repurposed as hostels, residences, museums, or simply abandoned and decaying. These bunkers were built by order of the former communist leader Enver Hoxha, who ruled Albania from 1944 until his death in 1985. During his reign, Hoxha implemented extreme isolationist policies, making Albania one of the most isolated countries in the world. The bunkers were built not only along the country's borders, but also in cities and towns across Albania, with an estimated one bunker for every four inhabitants. Today, some of these bunkers have been converted into restaurants, cafes, or even art installations, while others have been left to decay gradually. However, these bunkers have become a unique and controversial feature of the Albanian landscape. What do you think about this? It's convenient if the country faces invasion or terrorism, isn't it? Comment below with your thoughts. Number 13. Albania's obsession with Mercedes cars. One of the first things you'll notice when you arrive in Albania is the abundance of Mercedes cars everywhere, dominating the streets. It almost feels like for every two cars you see, one of them is a Mercedes. This sounds strange because Mercedes cars are considered very expensive, but there are some logical explanations for this. Returning to the communist era in Albania, owning a personal car was not allowed, so driving was only for the upper class, and when the country opened up after the collapse of the communist regime in the early 1990s, there were only about 5,000 to 7,000 cars in the whole country. So you can imagine that at this time in Albania, infrastructure for cars was also lacking, meaning that there were not many paved roads on the streets of Albania, and car dealerships as well as repair shops were extremely scarce. When importing and owning cars became allowed, people needed quality and reliable cars to avoid breakdowns on the rural roads and be easily repaired. At this time, the upper class in the government, including dictator Enver Hoxha, considered Mercedes their favorite car brand, so this brand spread, spread like wildfire across the country, making buyers. Especially old models imported cheaply but still reliable, so it's not surprising that those who can afford a car prefer a Mercedes. Today, every five people in Albania still only have one car, but due to the status symbol, the reliability of Mercedes is still the most popular car brand for those who can afford a new one or even a second car. How do you see the image of Mercedes cars here? Comment below to let me know. Number 12. Albania, the world's first atheist country. During the communist era, religion was completely banned in Albania and many religious buildings were even demolished. It was in 1967 that Hoxha further tightened his grip on power over the country with an order to prohibit all religious activities and declare Albania as the world's first atheist country. And this ban was lifted when the communist regime collapsed, and today in this country many religious groups are coexisting peacefully. Number 11. The Stunning Blue Eye Lake. Blue Eye Lake is a must-visit destination when in Albania. 
The natural wonder of Blue Eye attracts all tourists participating in European tours to Albania with its special name. Blue Eye is a stunning deep blue lake with a depth of over 50 meters. The Blue Eye Lake mesmerizes visitors as if being overwhelmed by its tranquil and pristine beauty. The lake is oval-shaped, and its water source comes from the ground. The special thing is that the lake is dark blue in the middle and light blue on the sides. In the spring, you will see the lake resembling a pair of human eyes. Number 10. Rich Culinary Heritage One perfect reason to include Albania on your bucket list of lifetime travels is because its cuisine is irresistibly alluring. Albanian dishes originated from the ancient Ottoman Empire, combined with influences from modern times such as Greek, Italian and Turkish. One delicious dish I recommend trying here is Tev Kosi. The dish looks like a kind of egg cake made from lamb, eggs and yogurt. When enjoying Tev Kosi, you will easily feel the rich flavor of lamb, eggs and the sweet tanginess from the yogurt. The delicate combination of ingredients brings diners a truly unique culinary experience. There is also Purim Ne Zigar, which is the famous grilled vegetables of Albanians. This dish usually includes eggplants, zucchinis, onions, peppers, tomatoes, etc. And although made from simple ingredients when you taste it, you will find it hard to resist the special delicious aroma that Purim Ne Zigar brings. When you come here, you should also try Spekami Gigi's. This dish is appealing to tourists because of its eye-catching colors. People stuff rice, cheese, and suitable spices into green or red peppers and then grill them. This is considered one of the dishes for vegetarian enthusiasts when traveling to Albania. What do you think of these dishes in Albania? Comment below to share your thoughts. Number 9. The Colorful Capital of Albania Although it doesn't look like it now, Albania was once one of the least developed countries in Europe, and that was because the communist government heavily influenced them, and the dictatorship of their former ruler made them live in isolation for nearly four decades. Tirana is the capital and largest city of Albania as well as the cultural, economic, and political center of the country. After escaping from the communist regime, when rebuilding the city to revive lost hope in the city, Edi Rama, who was an artist, turned to art to help rejuvenate the capital. Colorful houses appeared all over the streets. When colorful buildings appear everywhere, the mood and spirit of the people also change. The beauty gives people a sense of protection in Albania. Number 8. The Unique Albanian Language Have you ever heard of or come across the Albanian language? Share your thoughts on this language below. The official language of Albania is Albanian and if you have ever read or heard anything in this language, you will probably find it extremely difficult to understand even a word. That's because Shekip, as Albanians call it, is a unique language unrelated to any other modern language. Albanian is an independent branch of the Indo-European language family, and therefore it has no direct sister language. This language developed from ancient Illyrian language used by people in the Balkans before the Roman conquest, so it is very special and unique. Number 7. The Bisa rule will keep you safe. Albania is a very safe country, and part of the reason is due to the traditional culture of the Albanian people, including the old Bisa rule. Bisa is a cultural law of Albanians, often translated as faith or oath, meaning keeping promises and honor. The adjective besnik in Albanian, derived from besa, means loyal, reliable, meaning a person who keeps their word. Bisa is of paramount importance in Albania's traditional customary law and is considered the foundation of human behavior. The concept of Bisa is based on loyalty to one's word in the form of loyalty or as a guarantee of loyalty. Bisa contains more obligations to family and friends requiring a commitment to one's word, loyalty and solidarity when dealing with others. This means that every Albanian is bound by the Bisa rule, so they must care for each other and never break their promises. Number 6. Majority of Albanians are Muslims The Ottomans introduced Islam to Albania in the 14th century, but it wasn't until the 17th century that the majority of the population converted to Islam, Today, nearly 60% of Albanians are Muslims. Number 5. Land of the Eagles. Did you know that when Albanians refer to their country, they call it Shekipri, meaning Land of the Eagles? The eagle holds great significance for the Albanian people and is considered their national and ethnic symbol. The earliest known depiction of an eagle in this country dates to a stone carving from 1190. 
Additionally, the Albanian flag features a black double-headed eagle on a solid red background. This design is believed to have originated from Prince Skanderbeg, a 15th century hero who successfully led a rebellion against the Ottoman Turks in 1443. He used a similar flag with a double-headed eagle and a red background. Later, this flag was adopted by various noble families in Albania during the Middle Ages and eventually became the symbol of the Albanian people. What do you think about this eagle symbol of the Albanian people? Share your thoughts below. Number 4. A mountainous country. What makes this country special particularly is nature's gift of numerous mountains to Albania despite its small size and close proximity to stunning coastal landscapes. Albania is a mountainous country, with mountains covering 70% of its territory. The highest mountain in Albania is Mount Korab, reaching a height of 2764 meters and located on the border with northern Macedonia. Albania's mountain ranges not only offer spectacular natural landscapes but also provide opportunities for outdoor activities such as hiking, skiing and mountaineering for visitors to this place. Additionally, Albania is home to some rare and endangered plant and animal species, including the Albanian oak tree. It is also one of the few countries where wild horses still exist. What do you think of the natural landscapes of this country? Share your thoughts in the comments below. Number 3. Bartrint Albania's most important archaeological site. This is a UNESCO-recognized archaeological site in Albania, where some of the most important national monuments spanning 2,500 years of history through the Greek, Roman, and Byzantine periods are located, dating back to the 3rd century BC. Bartrint is an ancient Greek city and an ancient Roman site in southern Albania, near the Greek border. Bartrint is located on a hill overlooking the Vivari Channel. In the Roman era, Butrint was a densely populated area. According to ancient Roman history, Butrint was founded by the prophet Hellenus. Hellenus, the prophet, is the son of King Priam of Troy. According to archaeological evidence, this was the settlement of prehistoric humans from around the mid-10th to the 8th century BC. Butrint is located in a strategically important location on the Corfu Strait. In the 4th century BC, Botrint residents built a temple dedicated to the god Asclepius and an open-air theatre for gatherings. The most famous at this site is the ancient theatre. From the outside, walking along the right path into the forest is the ancient theatre from the 3rd century BC. In the Roman period, this theatre was used and could accommodate up to 2,500 seats. Its architecture is influenced by ancient Greek architecture, with a circular shape separate from the high city above. Deep in the forest is a wall carved with sharp Greek inscriptions. Number 2. King Zog, the first and only king of Albania. King Zog is the only king of Albania, reigning from 1928 to 1939. Notably, he was the only Muslim king in modern European history and became famous for surviving several assassination attempts. King Zog played a significant role in modernizing Albania during his reign. He promoted infrastructure development, introduced the country's first constitution, and established diplomatic relations with many countries. However, his efforts were interrupted when Italy invaded Albania in 1939 and King Zog was forced into exile. Despite this setback, he continued to support Albania's independence and sovereignty until his death in 1961. Number 1. Albania is the homeland of Mother Teresa. Although Mother Teresa was born in Skopje, North Macedonia, her ancestral homeland is Albania. Another interesting fact is that this country has an international airport named Mother Teresa to honor her. So there you have it, we've explored 21 fascinating facts about Albania. What do you think of the facts I've shared above, or have you visited this interesting country yet? Remember to comment and share your thoughts with me. Thank you for watching our video, don't forget to like, share and subscribe to stay updated with the latest videos from us. See you in the next videos.